Tonight, I want to talk as plainly as I can. I got your words ready, Jack. I know that in times as polarized as these, most of you have already made up your mind. But maybe you're still not sure which candidate you'll vote for. So let me tell you about my friend, Joe Biden. What I quickly came to admire about Joe Biden is his resilience. Come on, man. His empathy. Joe is a man who learned early on to treat every person he meets with respect and dignity. You're a lying dog faced pony soldier. That empathy. Oh, look, fat, look, here's the deal. That decency. So you got a damn liar, man. The belief that everybody counts. When he talks, we hold these truths to be self evident. All men and women created by go, you know the you know the thing. When Joe listens, and he's got the character. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. We should expect that regardless of ego. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together, man. Ambition. I was a Democratic caucus. But we should also expect a president to be the custodian of this democracy. I'm not worried. Thank you so much. Give me a break, man. Thank you so much. Joe knows the world and the world knows him. Hey everyone, I'm Joe Biden's husband. <clears throat> he knows that our true strength comes from setting an example. Look, come on, man. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me, but I mean, I'm so forward looking to have an opportunity to sit with the president or stand with the president in debates. I myself, just don't tell anybody I told you this, especially don't tell Joe Biden. I don't think that there should be any debates. They believe that in a democracy, the right to vote is sacred. Well, you should vote for Trump. They understand that political opponents aren't un-American just because they disagree with you. Wait, 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 wait. A free press isn't the enemy. Have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Are, are you a junkie? What do you say? That our ability to work together to solve big problems like a pandemic depend on a fidelity to facts. We choose truth over facts. And science. We choose science over fiction. Tonight, I'm asking you to believe in Joe and Kamala's ability to lead this country. I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental, fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. And by voting like never before for Joe and Kamala, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black.